Hey guys, how's it going? All right, Mr. Rabbit has arrived. I'm so excited. Um, I, this is my COVID, COVID and crafts haul. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, my boyfriend went to get the mail, so luckily I got the mail. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy I had some crafty goodies in there because y'all know it always makes you feel better. And, <coughs> excuse me. That sounds a thousand times better. A thousand, let me tell you. Um, I do have COVID, and uh, my father ended up with COVID first, brought that home from church, and uh, I think there was about nine people that ended up having that. He went to a funeral one day, and then a um, church service the next, and the church service got him. So, um, through taking care of him, I ended up with it too, and um, so yeah. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, I've been four long years without getting it and trying everything, fighting the good fight, right? Masking up, washing up, as much as I possibly can. So, um, but when you live with somebody else and they're not being as careful, then kind of throws you under the bus, I guess. <laughs> A little annoying, but whatever. I'm glad that, or I'm thankful, I guess, that he's okay. So, and thankful I am too. Um, it's been uh, kind of a long, feels long anyway, long week, and um, so yeah, anyway, um, but we're doing better, He's his cough was doing better, and then it wasn't doing better, and now it is again, so I'm thankful for that, um, mine is doing way, way better, um, I, I did not think one person could cough so much, I just, wow, <laughs> anyway, um, got the norms, no taste and smell, things like that, or very little, um, yeah, fever, you know, cough, runny nose, head pounding, the head thing is, that's been kind of tough to deal with, um, I don't, I don't normally even get headaches, except, you know, if I have a sinus infection or something, but I don't really, I'm not a person that gets headaches, and so, um, that, and I think that COVID fog thing is quite real that they talk about, but I think maybe that comes from my head just pounding, and I can't think, um, but it's doing better now, so still have a slight fever, and, um, the body aches are less, though, at least, and, uh, the pounding in my head's less, it's still there, but less, and the, uh, head feels fuzzy, I guess you could say, but not super full or something, um, the cough is a lot better, and the congestion is a lot better, so I'm on the mend. Um, I didn't get the Paxlovid. I got the, uh, something with an L, Kivria, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, um, some other medicine, and, uh, for it, so that was, I guess, I guess it's working, I don't know. Um, that's what they gave my father as well, and it's a newer one. It doesn't seem to interfere with other medications and things like that, like for him and his blood thinner, so that was good, um, but yeah, I, today's the first day, I've been in my craft room in a long time, <laughs> um, I did put out that video Friday, but that was done luckily a week before, or else that wouldn't have been up, I'm gonna have to keep to that schedule though, because something keeps happening every time, so, um, anyway, hopefully Monday I can go back to work, and, I work a week, and then I'm off for spring break for a week, so I'm planning on lots of crafty time then, and lots of videos coming your way, so stay tuned. But anyway, this is the Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz uh, Mr. Rabbit collection, and I just think he's adorable. Um, lots of companies have the stamp set if you're looking for it. I know Frantic Stamper has it. Um, <coughs> um, <coughs> uh... Simon Says, um, well, of course, Stampers Anonymous, the direct site has that, just different ones, but I think the only place you can get the die is from Simon Says themselves, because they were kind of in a collaboration with him, with Tim, and came up with the die for it, as well as a few of his other stamp sets, if you're interested, that they just re-released, I guess, with the die. So, anyway, but I got it because mainly the, the bow tie. I feel like I wanted it to cut out the bow tie nicely. And I wasn't sure if I could trim scissors around where it would look normal, you know what I mean? Um, so, I'm excited 
to work with that. Maybe not today. I don't quite feel up to that yet. But you never know. Maybe this weekend. Because the sun is coming out. Um, just like this. This is kind of a copper colored. I don't know if you can see it there. Maybe not. Anyway, um, just a little uh, necklace I had ordered that came in the mail. And y'all know, like, kind of different pieces, but the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow, right? Um, the sun is out right now, but it has been super, super windy for days. So, I don't know what that's about. And so now this stuff is from AliExpress from here on. Um, fresh cut flowers, happy spring, happy Easter, cottontail crossing, uh, carrot patch. I got it for these two, chick crossing and bunny boulevard. I just thought that was so cute. And you got Easter Bunny Stop, Bunny Trail, Jelly Bean Avenue, Easter Avenue, Chocolate Crossing, Easter Eggs One Mile Ahead, Leprechaun Lane. Um, so I guess they threw one leprechaun thing in there, huh? Um, and then these three dies go together. So here are the ears, the bunny ears. And I guess maybe that's a little heart nose. And then here's the bunny outline themselves. And then here are the eyes. So... Once you layer that up, you have all, all the pieces of the bunny. Um, this is like flower pots and stuff, a knockoff Tim Holtz thing. Thought I had this, but I can't find it. So, um, another little layered up rabbit and a cute little basket, eggs, a frame I liked because usually the scallops are on the outside, but now it's on the inside. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, more, what do you call these, ferns, because they could put out 10 million fern dyes, and I would want 10 million fern dyes, okay? I love ferns. I do not think you can have too many. <laughs> um, a nice little heart, um, cover a card kind of die. It's like that. And this, I think, would just be pretty for, um, just a nice background, a sunburst kind of background. This is kind of a lacy one. And then uh, these I think I've shown you before, but I ordered another pack. Um, this here and there. I'll just, I'm not going to flip through them all because, you know, I've already seen them, I think. Um, then I got this. This is kind of thick paper. So you can cut them in between. Some I think you could almost do and get more out of it. Like um, I would probably cut these and use the books for something else. Use this for the top. Maybe these, you know, some just little pieces of ephemera on something. I don't know if I'd use it as a whole sheet. So we'll see. But I do like the little background of the trees and the moons and, you know, all that um, little astrological stuff here. So, this almost reminds me of, like, B background stuff, but not quite. Anyway, it's been a doozy of a week, I have to say. I am glad to have it the same time as my father, though, because it makes taking care of him easier, and we can, you know, both, we're not going to be locked away and trying to stay separate and all the things, so that, that is a lot easier. Um... But like I said, it's been, I've had four good years of not getting it and being super careful and all that good stuff. But, um, finally got me. So, it is what it is. And then I got some happy mail here. This is from Jackie. So, I told you guys I haven't been to the post office in a while and my boyfriend picked up the mail. So, it's a little behind. Um, he's been wonderful, by the way. He has, um, been running errands and picking up food. And I bought like a boatload of food and I wrote, sent him to get it and then no taste or smell which was really ticking me off because I spent $25 on an order of some Japanese food just by itself and I'm like really seriously come on it's like not kind of a cruel trick of the universe I feel like to spend that much and then you can't like you can eat it you just can't taste it so um but yeah anyway He's been, he's been really great on everything, so that's good. Um, and then, 
uh, I, I also got one happy mail thing from my friend Babette, and I hadn't heard from her now in several years, I guess, and she was, um, she had a lot of health problems. She was elderly, and she was moving into a nursing home, the last I heard. She had a lot of health problems, and I was hoping we could stay in contact, but, you know, things fade, or maybe uh, her memory, her whatever, like, I didn't hear back from her, so... But, uh, suddenly I got a card yesterday from her, so I'm super excited about that, and she is back to living in an apartment, and she has a care worker coming in and things, and she seems to be doing well, so I'm so happy about that. But, um, anyway, so that was a super uplifting moment. Um, I also had a thing today, I've been trying to, like, you can't, well, work calls and this, and I can't really rest, but, um... But I was trying to take care of some other things while I'm off, too. As, you know, you have those couple hours a day where you're all medicined up and you feel pretty good. Um, so, trying to take advantage of that. And making, like, business phone calls and whatever. And my student loan thing, I was checking on that. Uh, luckily, I got a, they, like, recertified it for a year or something. Because I thought I had to, I thought my time limit was up, actually, this week. And I was kind of trying to, like, recertify my stuff and sent in my tax paper and, you know, whatever to see what my new loan amount was going to be. And it is now going to be zero for the next year until they get everything aligned out that there are, the government <coughs> is trying to do and work on um, and all the new programs and switch everybody over to, you know, some of the new things they're having. So that's awesome. I do not have... Um, student loan payment for a month. It's zero. I couldn't, I couldn't groove on that. <laughs> Plus, it'll help me pay off more credit cards and work towards the new car and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> I've been lucky with my car. I guess this is an update video. <laughs> I'll just craft whatever. But, um, um, my car, it's starting. It's, i we finally found a balance in I have to literally charge it with a battery charger thing every night and leave it on charge until I wake up in the morning and then I go to work. It gives me two to three starts or that seems to be the average right now. Um, so that means it will start to get me to work. I come out from work. It will start. <laughs> I go to the post office or the store or the bank or whatever. It'll give me another start and then after that, it's done, and you better be home then. <laughs> so, um, and then I have to charge it again. So, as long as it will do that, at least that much, um, I will I will stick with that until school's out and maybe midsummer when I can look at some things. And also, I just found out that there could be, I don't know if mine would qualify or what, but some loan cancellation for student loans, um, or at least a portion of it or something, I don't know, um, in July. So, that brought some things down. I wonder if that would make my credit score possibly, I don't know, go up and then a new car might bring the interest rate down. I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to wait and see on that one. Um, and if it doesn't, it's not really a big deal, but it, every little bit helps, you know. Um, so, but I'm pretty sure I know the, um, the vehicle that I want now. It's a Mitsubishi Outlander. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Outlander itself or the Outlander Sport, which is just a little bit smaller. I personally like the Outlander Sport, but to carry all Dad's stuff around and things and his motorized chairs and all that, then I might need to go with the Outlander, so we'll see. Um, but there are some good rebates and that kind of thing on those, so I think it'll be good, and I figure they'll have some kind of 4th of July sale or something, so we'll work on it around that time. But for right now, I just want to get through this next week, spring break, the end of the year, on into summer. I'm really looking forward to this summer, <laughs> um, just to rest my head a bit. But anyway, so I hope you guys are doing well. This has been my update video, my happy mail, my Mr. Rabbit video. And um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope everybody's staying safe and washing those hands. <laughs> Bye, guys.